previously on. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. Damn. Nice. What? <gasps> what? Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? No. It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <clears throat> oh, thank God. You have a Geiger counter? You have a goddamn Geiger counter? Damn, you're so aggressive. Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. She's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Um, hello to you too. Ease up there, pal, or we're gonna have a problem. I already got problems, asshole. Okay. That Slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches. Fronts fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. Wait, they have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know, them early model synths. Looks like metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. Oh, the first gen sims, the ones that look crazy robotic. Cool. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. All right, Deacon. Let me just uh, go over here. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? Speaking of truth, why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. So you handled the talky talk and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. Why would Ricky lie? People always got reasons to lie. Hmm. The Institute could have turned him. Hmm. Or more likely, he's just seriously pissed off at us. Take your pick. Well, if he's fucking lying, then I'll beat his ass. But since he was intel, I'm going to have to trust him in his word. Unless otherwise. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So we're going in through the escape tunnel. The donut shop has an escape tunnel? What? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? I wish. Seriously, though? Thank God for that tunnel. If it weren't for that, there wouldn't be any railroad left. A tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. Easier, but no cakewalk. You lead us there, pal. I got you covered. Say no more. So let's go to the tunnel and not through here. Not through here. Let's go. Oh, wait, he did say if I have any other questions. You need something else? Um. Ricky, you ready to be a hero? Someone they'll sing songs about? We're storming that base, and we need a distraction. A big one. It's that important. Well, if I do this, that song better be goddamn beautiful, you hear me? <laughs> My song plays the mines. After you get to your tunnels, I got explosives I might be able to use to take out the chrome domes. What are you planning on doing? I should be able to pick a path through the minefield. I could toss the explosives at the synths inside Slocum's. Assuming I live through that, the survivors will probably swarm me. But maybe, just maybe, I'll live through it. Fuck it, why not? Your sacrifice will never be forgotten, Ricky. Well, if I make it out alive, you goddamn owe me. If not, never let him forget good old Ricky Dalton. Hell yeah, let's go, Ricky. Let's go! 
We need a distraction just in case if the tunnel thing does not work out. Honestly. And I can tell Curry did not like that one bit. But then again, she's not used to people having to do stuff like that since she came out of the vault after being stuck inside for 84 years. Alright. Tunnel it is. I have so much data on the world before the atom bombs. I fear I may have to delete some of it to store my new observations. Do you have, like, so little memory storage? Anyways, let's go to the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Hey, yo, the fact that this donut shop. Really? Oh, thanks, Curry. I I I'll take the meat. You're so cute, but nope. Welcome to Fallout 4, where you can actually kill anything and everyone, and no one will do shit. I know a couple people in real life who would definitely thrive in that environment, but for legal purposes, this is a joke. LOL, LOL. Anyways. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel to the donut shop. Oh my god, I'm excited. Ugh, Lord. Alright, this is it. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. What do you mean? What's there to be divided about? Everyone wants to liberate the Gen 3s, the human-looking synths. Some of the synths in the railroad, like Glory, think we should help earlier models, too. Hmm. But Gen 1s are basically the same as, well, a Protectron. So the line gets muddy. Do we defend AI rights? Terminals? Hell, turrets? Anytime it gets brought up, pow, fireworks. All the old arguments flare up. The upshot is Glory and some others won't run missions like this. I could see why, but either way, if they're just robots, then technically, what's the big deal? Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. I'm risking my neck here. I want to know what I'm risking it for. So I'll be straight with you. Although you're not going to like it, I have no idea what the prototype does. Yeah, Those I don't like it. Railroad agents are treated like mushrooms, kept in the dark and fed... Well, you get the idea. It's got to be important, though. Des wouldn't risk our hides lightly. Uh, yeah, I, I don't like this at all. Ready to go. First step is to override the security lockdown. All right, and I don't see anyone yet, but I see dead people. Totally see dead people. Security's too tight. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, well, cool. The terminal's on at least. I'm gonna feed it some passwords. No. 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 Aha! Missed one, you cocky bastards. The prototype's deeper inside. And I'm the first one. The sign here. Uh, this one means danger. Yeah, we know. Poor dead bastard. We know. Oh, Lord. All right, and I'm the first one in. Yep, danger it is. And it looks like Roger attempt to go through the tunnel. Did catch a few turrets, but... Is that... Is that the first gen? All right, let's go. Wow, that's the first gen. Robotic. Ew, ew, what is that? 
Oh my god, a cockroach! Oh my god, I- Oh my god, that's nasty! Yo, I have goosebumps now, I am that disgusted. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, the box in the center of that rail sign? That means there's a cache nearby. Looks like Maven managed to hide something before... Well, you know. Look around. Say no more, I love digging for treasure! Tinker managed to turn on the defenses. Barely slowed the coursers down, but hey, probably saved some lives. I don't think you've ever seen a courser, but they're top of the line in Institute Let's Fuck Up Your Day Tech. There shouldn't be any coursers in here, but if there are, just run. Really? That bad? Damn. Okay. Um, good to know. Like, damn. Whatever. Alright, I'm ready to go. Attacking enemy. Oh, another one. Yeah, it's a synth, honey. Are you actually measuring my vitals? In real time? I'm impressed. Like, I am truly impressed. No, another one. I mean, thanks for the food, but that sucks how you're dead. Alright, so, so far so good. So many dead bodies. I'm sad. Kinda sucks. Thank you for your... Yeah, for now. For now. Yo, they took out most of the... turrets. I'm impressed. Fortunately, they're dead, but... We didn't have time to trip the defenses up ahead. Power them up. We can give our friends a little surprise. But let me see. Let's activate these bad boys. Is someone present? Hello. Ooh, these synths are no joke. I mean, the thing is, if they're able to just shoot the turret... Yeah, she's triggered. Bendito. Alright, let's go. I guess I have to go through another tunnel. Man, I am so happy I'm not doing this alone because... I would be scared. Alright, I'm gonna open this up and... I'm gonna go through the terminal just to see if I'm able to eliminate some words here. I mean, I could just simply guess at this point, but I would run the risk of locking myself out and having to do this whole process again with new words and i'm not trying to do that because that is too much work for me it really is so let me just okay not too bad i see here that i eliminated a couple of duds which is nice go team yeah not bad I find hacking very therapeutic for me. Definitely helps me to relax. Of course, whenever I'm in the mood to just hack away. Alright, so I eliminated a couple of duds. I see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words. So let me see if I can eliminate another one. Now there's six. Perfect. Um, I still don't really like the odds, though, so let me see if I can manage to eliminate at least two more. Because that would be the key. Huh, nothing so far. 
Oh, are you kidding me? Of course I would have to decide on six. Okay. Five, that's not bad. But really? Uh, I guess better than nothing. Damn. Okay, I got two more tries. Uh, yes. Oh, thank God. I was... I was not about to do this whole process over again, that's for sure. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Boost. Come boost. Let's go. Oh, lord, they're just shooting everything at this point. Bye bye, Gen 1s. Prepare to be shocked. Not every Slocum's Joe has a massive tunnel complex underneath it. We're entering a secret defense intelligence agency research lab, a place that never officially existed. It's called the Switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. Okay, that's cool. And nice. All this underneath a donut shop. Who? Who knew? Seriously, who knew? I'll take that fusion core. I can use it for my power armor, which I never use, but fuck it. I just like to take stuff. Stealing is fun in my book. Ooh, hold on, hold on. We got these wired... Okay, let me see if I can disarm them. Because I am not about to just walk through them and get my ass torn into pieces. Perfect. Oh! Anyways... Yeah, but damn, that's a big smack. Dude, next time get a laser minigun. Definitely would help save you a lot of trouble. That's for sure. Advanced? Oh, I'm not doing that. That's mad work. I'm gonna go through here. And Stealth capabilities. Fascinating. Bro. Whoa. Yo, that shook me to the core. Like, I do not like this at all. I don't. I am no longer detecting an enemy presence. Because I'm not there yet, fool. Wow, okay, so is this it here? Nah? Okay, nothing here, I suppose. I feel almost at home here. You're so cute, you know that? Alright, what about here? Combat in the Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. A gun that shoots fire? Really? Where can I get those? Alright, let me see what's in here. Yeah, they're dead. That's why they're quiet. That's... That's what I like. Ooh, a hazmat suit? You know what? I love how there's two hazmat suits. I do remember the quest where I have to go to the glowing sea. Wait, who? Oh no, Tommy. There. Tommy would want you to have his. I appreciate it. May it serve you as well, heck, better than it did Tommy. Oh, he gave me the gun. You turn that over to Desdemona, and she'll have to let you into our merry band. 
Okay, I'll take the apple and the tomato. And what's this? Oh, Perfect. Nice. There's an take. elevator at the end of the hall. It should be a hell of a lot easier fighting the chrome domes on this side of the minefield. Oh yeah, of course. Say no more. Question is, where is the elevator that you're talking about? Because I definitely want to ride this elevator. Oh, right here. Yeah, boy. Okay. Oh, honey, you would not survive the combat if that's the case. You should wash your hands after that. It can be unsanitary to handle the deceased. Thanks for the advice. I appreciate that. Okay. Alright, so the elevator is now in use. And now we can actually leave. Wow, behind this bookcase too. This is dope. Okay. I like this. Alright, so... Huh. He called this the basement, but it's a secret tunnel. I love it. Okay, so, let me see here. Huh. Is anyone here? Ooh. Ooh, I heard that. Detected. Curious. I hope he makes it out alive. I would not want anyone to die. You're so cute! Oh my- Oh, 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 be careful, be careful. Huh. So, this is interesting. All the turrets are through. Huh. Oh! <gasps> He's dead! Oh, Ricky. I am so sad. Ricky's dead. I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't. I'm so sad. Alright, so where am I going? Do I have to, like... Okay. Deacon! What happened? Are you injured, bro? Hi. We got what we came for. Let's split up and meet back at the catacombs. I went through all of that, and I still don't know why. And I still don't have them. I just hope we didn't liberate the doctor's coffee maker. See you soon. Ugh. And he is... Hmm. Limping his way out of this long forgotten donut shop that has a secret tunnel. I wonder if he's gonna say something about Ricky. Nah, he just walked over him. I'm done, bro. Alright, so I'll see him back at the base. And let's go. All right, we are here. Let's get inside. All right, we successfully completed our mission with a person who died in the line of fire. Thank you, Ricky, for completing your duty. I'll make sure we sing all sorts of songs about you with your heroic deed.
and whatnot. Thank God I have a light on my pit boy, because just imagine. Nah, I'm good. It's too dark for my taste, like. Alright. And the new girl patched me up, put me on her shoulder, and blasted her way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, <laughs> right? That's one word for it. Deacon yeah. told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Wow. Mostly true. But there wasn't a hundred of them. And Deacon was with me the whole way. Embellishing the truth again, are we? She would have fallen for it, you know? Don't flatter yourself. Still... I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be yep. insane not to sign her up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Yes! Yes! Why should I join you? If you're having any doubts, you shouldn't. Damn. Not very many of us live to retirement. Damn. If you're like me, that doesn't matter. There are great wrongs that need writing. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? The Clint Crusader. Have any suggestions? No. It doesn't work like that. Your life, your name, your choice. I don't know. Mm, let me think. It's a big decision. Take your time. I don't want a code name. Code names aren't optional. Damn, okay. All agents need to keep their identity secret to protect themselves and those close to them. <laughs> I really don't want to choose. Suit yourself. We'll call you Wanderer. Hmm. Seems fitting. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is what one is of it? our most tightly guarded secrets, so be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. Okay. That's pretty cool. So I guess I'm going in. Through a door. Interesting. Madame? Yes, Curry, what happened? Hey. Do you need something from me? No, I thought... I need to ask you something. Is now a better time to converse? Of course. Is everything alright? On the whole, no. It is not. I have spent much effort gathering information in our travels so far. And my cell diagnostics have come to a green conclusion. It is not lack of data or lack of collaboration which stifles my scientific progress. The inescapable truth is there has never been a great robot scientist. Wait. Robots can do amazing things. But surely they've contributed to science. When yeah, like you. When they human, they have. But on our own, we tread predictable paths. The greatest scientific minds of history, the Einsteins and the Curies, my namesake, have had something beyond raw data analysis capabilities. They have had a spark. This elusive inspiration is something I must possess. So, how are you going to do that? If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. Okay. I must become human. <gasps> as close as I can, I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. Wait, what? Is that even possible? Who is to say? There were great advances made before the war in cognition and memories. Surely there is someone who can help, or at least point us in the right direction. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, Please bring me to them. Interesting. 
Very interesting. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.